Yo, what's good, my people, Blazy, and today I'm back with another banger. And in today's video, I'm gonna be helping you guys by making this little tutorial. I'm gonna show you guys how to use, download, and tips and tricks on how to use OpenIV, which is an app that allows you to mod GTA 5 campaign only. Uh, to you know, it, it, the app allows you to add mods and go deeper into the game's files. And normally, this little files thing down here doesn't let you do. So let's get straight into it. Let's start off by saying that to do this, you need to have the original non-pirated version of DTA 5. So either you bought it from Epic Games or Steam, one of those two. It has to be from one of those two. It doesn't matter from which one. The files of the game are like it, almost exactly the same. I'm, I don't think there's a difference in the files. It's just like you bought it from a different place. That's it. And if you don't have DTA 5, um, I advise you to, you know, at the game is, I guess, I think it's cheaper now. I think it's like 20 bucks, but I'm not 100% sure. And, or if not, just like wait, maybe like a, a couple, wait a little bit because sometimes Epic Games comes with some good deals. I got um, my DC5 for a good deal. I think I paid like 20 bucks, I think, or like 15. I don't know. At the moment, it was like at 40 and I paid like half or something like that. Whatever it was. But just keep that in mind. And to start things off, let's go download OpenIV. All the links to everything that I'm, I'm going to be showing in this video are going to be in the description down below. And just, you know, follow everything in this video so you guys can understand how to do stuff. And don't mess nothing up. Come and to start blaming things on me. So, real quick, this app, it's legit. You know, I've had it for a long time because I've been modding GTA for a minute now. And no, then people sometimes ask me when I tell them to download an app, oh, it's going to give me a virus. It's giving me a virus, this and that. No. If you follow my steps and you do everything I tell you to do, you're not going to get a virus. So... Let's start off by downloading OpenIV. You gotta press download now, OpenIV, and then the number here. This may be different depending on where you watch the video because the app might have been updated, but I don't think this app gets updated too much. So just saying, green button right here, click on that. Then you're gonna see the little thing pop up in the corner. For you, it might say, oh, this may harm your PC or your computer, or whatever. No, it doesn't. It's just like the PC telling you you're downloading an app from something that's not the app store speak and then it's like oh like watch out but this app I told you is legit or whatever once you got it downloaded press the exe and then you're gonna see this let me close out of chrome real quick and then you all you do is press continue uh you read all the terms and services and conditions i'm not gonna go through that in this video but you could go through it yourself press the square box press continue and then it just asks you if you want to you know create a uh uh what's it called a uh shortcut or whatever over here in your desktop and if you want to run open IV afterwards i'm i don't want that so i'm just click it off press continue press yes and then give it a moment for it to install it shouldn't take too long depending on your you know your pc and your hard drive and your internet it shouldn't take too long that's it it downloaded you just close out of it and now you just go to your search bar and just type open and then it should appear Every time you open the app, no matter if it, you already had it or just downloaded it, you're going to see this thing. All you're going to do is just press Windows right here, Grand Theft Auto, Windows. Click on that. For the first time, you're going to see this. You're going to have to find your GTA 5 location. Mine's in download, so I just click on that. Um, yours might be different. All you do to find it, I'm pretty sure you go to where you bought GTA, so from Steam or Epic. And then you just go to your library and then I think it's there's an option that allows you to search where your DTA is, but it is what it is. That's you guys. You guys have to look into that. So select the file and if you did everything correct, you, you should see these green letters saying that, you know, open up you found the GTA 5 EXE. Then you press continue and then continue again. Don't forget to back up your files after editing. I'm going to show you what that means in a moment. Press continue and it should start up. <clears throat> Give it a moment every time you open this app you're gonna see this as well but it doesn't take too long it just takes a couple seconds it takes a little bit the first time you do it because it's, you know making sure that everything in the files is good and whatever so let's wait for this to start up and there you go um and this is open iv i know you guys might be like what the heck what's all these files trust me once you get used to all of this it's gonna be way easier and simpler to understand when i first started modding i was like what the heck i'm never gonna learn but here i am showing you guys a tutorial and yeah uh keep in mind 
these files for you may look a little bit different because I currently have mods in my files like all of this I'm pretty sure all of this right here just, you shouldn't see it because you might not have mods but and also the mod there's some stuff that you might have not have but it's okay it's just for the tutorial so let's start off by saying every time you want to mod or edit your files or whatever delete add or whatever you need to sh make sure you have edit mode on so click on that and then click on yes and now you'll be able to click on any file add anything delete anything whatever all right and then also make sure if you every mod i'm gonna stress this a lot in this video every mod you install it needs to be in your mods folder so let's start off by making a mod folder i already have mine but i'm just gonna show you you're gonna right click anywhere then press new folder and then you're gonna call it mods m o d s mods in lowercase i'm not gonna add it as i repeat because i already have a mod folder but once you got it, it should look you should see this purple folder and here's where you put all your mods and uh another thing every time you want to use your mods in campaign you got to go to tools asi manager and download or install these two it should take like it should be really quick as you see and it's on it's, it's, i installed it and, and installed it really quick only you only need the, uh, these two if you want you could have download this one like i have this one all it does is you know give you a free cam and rockstar editor so you can go as far from your character as or player as you want so yeah and every time if you, like to remove like take away the hassle of you having to delete all your mods every time you want to play gta Bob online you uninstall this and every mod you have installed inside your mods folder won't be usable so that will allow you to play gta 5 online so again if you want to play online uninstall all of these asi managers and loaders or whatever and you'll be able to play gta 5 online but if you have this i have this on and you try to play gta 5 online the game will tell you that you're using a altered version of the game you can't access or line something like that so just keep that in mind um so let's close out of this and let's give you guys a little example on how to like how to download a simple mod for now all right so the best place to find mods for your gta 5 is five mods the link to all of this as a repeat will be in the end of the description this five mods you could also go to this one livery city whatever it's called and here you can find some extra mods but most of the mods in here are sometimes they're gonna be in, in this one but sometimes you may find something different but yeah and the last one is this one that's pdf fr this is basically like a a little add-on that you could add to your game to make it like where you could become a cop and stuff but there's also mods that you could just add to your normal gta 5 like cars and stuff if you look for them you'll find them and they're just like normal mods that you could find on five mods or whatever so let's start off by using this mclaren example so as i said there's two like let's say you're downloading a car like this one there's two types of ways you could download it either an add-on like this one or a replace like this one what an add-on means is that it adds this car into the whole cars in the game so you don't have to like remove a car and add the new one so this is my favorite one to install because it's easier to do and it's more convenient because let's say you want to use the original car in the game you don't have to go to the hassle of re removing the replacement like this one and then adding back the original car so normally in most mods they should have a description like this one showing everything about it and how to install the mod if it doesn't have something like this it would mostly you know have it once you download it, it should have a text box i'm sure you wouldn't mean in a second so right here you know it's just telling you create a uh, a folder called mclaren f1 in your dlc packs and look it says mod folder it says where to find that so you gotta go to your mods update x64 dlc packs so open iv and then i already have the mods update x64 dlc packs but you guys most likely don't so what you gotta do is go to your main directory this is your main directory where all your main files are and then you just gotta copy your mods folder i mean your update folder in your mods folder um or if you're gonna edit it i don't think it would appear for me for, but let's say you're gonna go instead of since it doesn't let you copy like this if you go into your your update x64 dlc packs your main directory it should something appears a red thing should appear 
saying though oh like add it to your mod so let me see if i can find it in a different you know you see right there it, you should see this so all you do is just copy that press this and it should copy that file to your mods folder and that so you don't have to touch your original files so as that as the the mod right here said you know you gotta go to your mods folder update x64 and dlc packs so mods update x64 dlc packs and it said you had to add a folder called mclaren f1 I'm not gonna do that because I don't want to download this card. But you know, it, it, that's just an example. It shows you everything you have to do, and make sure you know how to read this, because you you see it says mods that you have to open that folder, and then you have to open the update folder in your mods folder, and then you have to up, open the X64 folder in your update folder, and then the DLC packs in your X64 folder. That was a lot, but it's just easy to read. As you see, it says it right here, mods update X64 DLC packs. You just gotta know how to read the things up here, or in or you could also it's the same thing when you're in let's say your normal you know your normal docs or whatever it's the same thing you know if you go to mods update x64 dlc packs you'll see them all, all here but this is like the only f folder that you could open past here you can't open nothing because if you're trying to open let's say your dlc rpf you just see this so that's the reason why you need open iv so yeah that's basically it um let's show you a little like replacement let's say um for the replacement it will show you let me see let me download it and show you guys you know why it's more complicated so give this a moment open this up and this one also has an add-on some cards would have an add-on or replacement depending on which one you would like to use so in this case we're using this replacement as an example it shows the instructions on how to download it you know it says you got to go to your mod or whatever all of this and this car is being is gonna replace the vodka so sometimes for some reason these instructions when it says for you to replace they're not actually sending you to the right document so i've had uh, situations where i go to this exact same spot and i can't find the vehicle that i'm trying to replace in this case as i told you it's the vodka right here so if let's say you don't find the file like you can't find the file no matter if it's it's something you just want to mess around with or check or like you know you trying to replace something what you got to do to easily find the file let's say in this case i'll run and place the vodka so let me just copy the name you know rename and then copy Control c or just uh, you know right click and copy what you do is how I said, copy the name, paste it in the search bar in OpenIV, right? And then you'll see this. And then you just search, uh, press where it says search in all archives. Give it a moment and it should search all your files and tell you exactly where that vehicle is. So as you guys can see, the things are popping up already. Let's give it a moment. As you guys can see in these, it says, you know, download GTA 5 mods. Make sure you always click on the one that has mods. You know, this one doesn't have the mods one. So you gotta add that whole folder into your mod folder. This might be a lot to understand, but you know, I'll, you'll get it sooner or later. So just click on the on the one you're looking for, and then you just type the vodka again, and then you should see. Oops, you should see the files you want to replace. So these right here. All you have to do is just copy them and paste them, and always make sure to how the I was gonna say replace. Uh, Save your files. What I normally do is just like highlight over the files that I'm gonna change. So I'm gonna change uh, these two and then this one. So I just copy them or highlight them by pressing Control and clicking on every single one of them. And this is like driving, dragging it to your desktop for now. And these are the original files. And not, then all I do, uh, let me just show you real quick that these are the originals. You could open it and you see that's a vodka. You guys recognize that vehicle. And then when I go like this, it replaces it. So as you guys can see, give it a moment. It's not the vodka anymore. It's a, the Lamborghini. So with the replacement, like saving the files is sometimes good to do because, you know, if you want to just revert the files, you already have the original version. Just keep everything, you know, neat and everything. Um, this is not like keeping your files is sometimes not necessary because since everything's in your mods folder and the original folders are intact, all you have to do is go to your original folder, get the files you need, copy them, and then paste them in your mods folder. I don't know if that makes sense, but you know, that's up to you. If you want to 
you know, save your videos files so you know exactly where they are. That's up to you, or if you want to do like I do, I just, you know, since all my mods are in my mod folder and all my original files are untouched, I could just copy the things from my original fi uh, files and then paste them to my mods folder. Yeah, I hope, you know, I hope you guys are not confused, but as you guys can see, I have some saved files. I have a little folder right here called GTA 5 mods. And this is like where I have all my mods are. This right here is something that I, this is like every time the game has an update or like, let's say if I delete the game because I messed something up, I, I'll delete it and reinstall. So this is like where all my mods are. So I don't know, this takes a lot of space though. Like this thing takes how much? Yeah, doing all of that takes 65 gigabytes. So that's up to you if you want to do that. I mean, I don't know what well, I would recommend just to save at least your, some of your car mods and then your add-on spawner and stuff like that. I'm gonna show you all the best menus in the different videos for you to use, so stay tuned for that. So yeah, you can save your original files or not, it's up to you. Uh, as, as you guys can see, I also have some replacement, some cards I have replaced in here. You know, I made a folder to, you know, know where to find it. So that's basically it. Um, if you guys have any questions, leave them down below. This video might have seemed very complicated, but as you guys get to understanding, you know, Open IV and the mod, you understand everything. You know how everything works. Um, again, if you have any questions, leave your comments down below. I'll try to respond to as much comments as I can because recently, I've finally, uh, thank God, I've reached a point where I have a lot of followers and a lot of people asking me questions. And you know, sometimes I can't get through all the comments. So, but I'll try my best to get as much, you know, as replied to as much people as I can. But hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave a like and subscribe. Stay tuned for more videos because I'm gonna make a couple videos on tips and tricks again of how to, you know, have the best mod menus and stuff and how to use stuff in OpenIV and, you know, stuff like that. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave a like and subscribe. I I appreciate all the support and I hope that this keeps on going from now on and yeah, I'm out.